everybody, Anthony is here. In this video, I'll try to answer the question of how to bake a high poly texture, including the surface detail, to a low poly object. The thing is that inside 3D code, you can quite efficiently texture the high poly object. Uh, like you can generate curvature and ambient occlusion maps and then use them to apply dirt and all that stuff uh, and grunge to it. And the power of it that it can always change the base material, so you can always play around and see what kind of uh, look you can get with other stuff, even the default materials that you have inside um, uh, 3D code. And you can get some pretty interesting variations and some interesting look development that uh, wouldn't really come to you naturally, right? So I like I, you get some really cool like roughness, uh, uh, reflectivity, for example, on this rock. If you go into metal, or go to check out what that does. So yeah, it's a lot of interesting stuff. And but then once you're finished, you want to bake it down, right? So you need to create a low poly object, and you can do it pretty easily here if you go into Auto Pro, uh, Instant Meshes Manual, or Instant Meshes Auto, and I go I. I'll drop this object down from like a million triangles down to 2K. Should be good enough. I might create a couple of holes, but nothing too major. Maybe two and a half. Something like this. Let's go hit OK. It's really fast. It slows up uh, Instant Mesh's algorithms. It's his uh, standalone application and does all that stuff there. So we've got the mesh right here. And let's uh, do the auto sims here. All we should do just let's do an auto map for the whole object and it will generate something. Okay, not far from perfect, but whatever. Good enough for bake. So now let's go and just bake it all down and we go into bake. Mm, bake bake with normal map. Hopefully gonna be alright, it's uh, not too far away this shell. And uh, let's press OK. And whatever we want, any kind of preset. Let's go in real. So the bake is done, let's switch to a paint room and you can see right here we still have we still have the visible uh, high poly object so we want to go into box tree right here and hide it and this is our actual bake oh, which is pretty decent and if you go into layers you actually have all of them saved and baked down to the low poly, which is really awesome. This is like really, really awesome. You, you, you do not just bake uh, the color without any way to edit this. You actually bake all the layers in the sequence and then you can just export it as, as just a texture map. And yeah, so that's uh, really all what you need to, to know to bake uh, high poly to low poly. And it is possible to do here, so I wasn't sure if it was. And uh, okay, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.